two things that gave away the high level of design of this Dolce & Gabbana vertical video. One was stuff like this. And the other thing is obviously this is not a full frame vertical. It's that square and a quarter format that's so common across social media platforms that kind of maximizes the space in your newsfeed. On Insta, if that was a full frame vertical and you clicked on it, it would expand. So the fact that it doesn't mean someone's really concerned about design and they want you to see it in the best way possible, which is exactly in the format that they made it. So I'm going to break down the square and a quarter in a golden section and see what happens. It's not a very nice looking rectangle. It's not very symmetrical. Closest thing to it is a 1.272, which is the square root of uh, the 1.618, the whirling square. And that is symmetrical, but it's not an exact match here. So I'm going to go with what is. And while it's off to a relatively slow start here, you can see a dominant diagonal being established right away. And then a couple ancillary divisions on the reciprocal. But it gets moving relatively quickly with shots like this. And that is some serious precision to catch in moments on a video. Reminds me of Brisson, who was also really design-based. Think like Madrid series, early 30s, or Greece, early 60s. And this is just a crazy level of symmetry that's rare in the art world, let alone advertising. Just the sheer consistency of these from a shot to shot, and also within a shot from the beginning to the end of the sequence, it's amazing. Look at how well this subtle color palette works with these black and whites. It's a complementary opposite game for simple balance. In this case, blue and orange with a secondary wing at yellow and red, prioritizing flesh tone or the subject. And just like the math, the elements of design here are strong as well, so let's look at that too. We have a couple sets of repeating diagonals, I'd expect nothing less here. And then right into circles. This is a perfect setup for a continuous flow, which you could probably draw any way you want, it would all be correct. It just all relates to each other really well. And then right back into another mathematical beauty. I'm not sure how you would do this so consistently without a grid on your monitor. Maybe you're shooting 8K 30, 8K 60 on a 4K or HD timeline, so you have the flexibility to move things around for cropping. And I guess you're just trying a lot of games, trying a lot of different things. With a level of pattern recognition like this, there's going to be a lot that works. Either way, it's just so impressive I had to check it out.